Hi, I'm Jen, and Rick Moranis is my TV dad. Today's video is not an ad, but I am going to go through my Sips by subscription box for April and do a little bit of an unboxing. They are a wonderful company to support, especially now. They're a small business, female-led and run, and they have monthly subscriptions as well as one-time boxes and supplies that you can order. And if you love tea, I highly recommend going to their website and checking them out. Today while I'm unboxing, I'm gonna talk a little bit about writing habits versus writing rituals and how we sometimes get a little bit precious about those types of things. In times like these that are super unprecedented and we don't really know what tomorrow or next week will bring, it's sort of difficult to be so precious about that because sometimes those habits or rituals can become counterproductive and actually end up stopping us from getting any work done. So having something like a Sips by subscription and learning more about the kinds of teas and drinks that you like and the preparation methods that you enjoy and what helps you get that writing done or get into that mood is super helpful and can be a lot of fun. All right, we're gonna dive right in to the April Sips by box. And every box comes with four different types of tea. And it also comes with this super fancy card made for Jen. Thanks, Sips by. This one actually has a super sweet little message at the top of it. It says, we hope this box finds you well, Jen, and that sipping on these teas is able to bring you a sense of calm and comfort in these uncertain times. Our team sends love and strength to everyone in this amazing community. It tells you the name of the tea and the brand of the tea if you taste it and like it and want to order more. It comes with a little discount code. It has the caffeine level. It tells you the brewing information, so the temperature and the measurement in order to make a nice little cup of tea if it's loose leaf. And then it has flavor notes and it sort of tells you what to expect from the tea because typically you're gonna be trying out new stuff. You can actually go on the Sips by website and tell the website like how much you liked it, give it a certain amount of, I think it's hearts, but it might be stars, I don't remember. And you let them know what you liked and didn't like, because in order to start your Sips by subscription, you fill out what you wanna try and you fill out what you already like. I don't like chai and I don't have stuff to make matcha yet, so I sort of kept that off of my subscription, but everything else was pretty much free game. I really like loose leaf tea. It's lower waste and I don't have anything to throw away at the end of it. So I prefer to use that, but I'm not super picky about using bags either. And Sips by actually sends you a little packet. This one is a little fabric bag, but it has little paper bags inside for their loose leaf tea. So you don't have to worry about it if you don't have like a tea steeper. I go in every month and let them know what I liked and what I didn't like, and then it becomes more personalized as you go. So this month I had two high caffeine teas because I always like to get different tea with a lot of caffeine in it. And then one low caffeine and one medium. And we're gonna just go ahead and go through the box and see what they smell like and look like. The first tea this month is a Dragon Eye Oolong Tea by Revolution Tea. And it comes in its own little packages. I'm gonna open this bag and see what it smells like. It has some teas that I cannot pronounce because they have Asian names, and then marigold flowers, peach, and apricot. Apparently it has lots of antioxidants, full leaf flavor, and it'll probably be pretty fragrant because of the fruits in it. Ah, yeah. That one smells a little woody, but you can't smell it because you're in a video. So this one has its own tea bag. So that's one of them. I'll probably try that one. My husband might like this one better than I do, but we'll see. The next one is a loose leaf tea and it's black gunpowder. It comes in a bag like this. And I already opened the back of it so that I could sort of take a smell, but it doesn't smell too strong, but it says that it's an aromatic tea. So it probably opens up a lot once you steep it and you steep it for four minutes and it takes one and a half teaspoons. So that all makes sense to me. I'll probably like this one. Gunpowder tea, usually it's a high caffeine tea and it's kind of rolled into little balls of tea. The next tea is really pretty. It's a white rose tea, so this one's gonna be pretty delicate and this is the lowest caffeine. This one's actually from Italy, which I don't get a lot of tea from Italy, but it's apparently from the largest private rose garden 
which is located in the Tuscan countryside, and it has a really delicate little smell. I usually like this kind of tea for the end of the night, sort of if I need something to like calm down. It doesn't necessarily, it's not like chamomile tea or lavender that sort of like lulls you to sleep, but it certainly gives you that nice preparation time making a cup of tea and having something nice and warm to sit and read without having some caffeine. So that's what I'll probably use this tea for. I also just really like the way it looks, all the little flowers in it. It's so pretty. The last tea in this month's box is another black tea that has high caffeine in it. Organic Nilgiri Black Tea. This one is almost powdered. It's so fine that I will definitely use one of the sips by bags instead of a tea steeper for this so that I don't end up drinking my tea leaves. So this one's actually from India. And that's the other thing I love about getting my sips by box is that I get tea from all around the world and then I can try stuff that I definitely wouldn't be able to find at the grocery store and find out how people prepare tea in different countries and different cultures. And I really love doing that and feeling connected to people all around the world who share this habit or ritual in their day. And everyone seems to have their own version of sitting down with a warm cup of beverage, usually tea, sometimes coffee, other things. Uh, I just really love that. Mm. I love black tea. As you can see from this month alone, a Subspy subscription brings a lot of variety to it. It has different caffeine levels, different types of preparation, different flavors. If you like to write with a cup of tea next to you, that's gonna allow you to switch up how long it takes you to prepare that cup of tea, whether or not it's gonna keep you up at night. So if you're planning on doing some writing before going to bed, but you don't necessarily want to have all that caffeine. You can fix yourself a cup of white tea or some lavender tea, something herbal that's not going to keep you up, but will keep you in that brain space and that setting that you've created to make sure that you're still able to get some writing done. I highly recommend Sips By for a lot of reasons, not the least of which being that it's really fun to get some mail, physical mail, once a month and to open that box up and find out what treasures are waiting for you. And you're not gonna love every type of tea you try. I share the teas that I don't like with my husband and my sister. And when we are out of social isolation, I will probably be sharing them with other people as well. Tell me in the comments below if you've tried Sips By or another tea or coffee subscription service. Tell me what you liked about it. Tell me what you didn't. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell button so you find out when there's a new video. We try to post once every two weeks, and barring any kind of crazy pandemic news or natural disaster, we're going to stick to that. If you like this video, check out our upcoming video on habits versus rituals and creating a tea ritual that really works for you. I'm going to go more in depth about how to prepare your tea and how to make sure that your ritual is doing what you need it to. I'll be discussing tea rituals around the world, the history of tea rituals, and definitely how that integrates into a writing life. If you have things that you definitely wanna make sure I cover, you can leave a comment down below, or you can message me on one of my social media sites, or if you have a longer comment, you can shoot me an email. As always, thank you for tuning in. I hope you're staying safe and staying healthy. See you guys in a couple weeks. Hercules. My, my name is Hercules.